Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is all about combat, where we will explore a modern Skyrim combat system. This overhaul will focus on a collection of combat mods, with an emphasis on a more responsive and reaction-based system, while still keeping that fast-paced action style we all love. There are quite a few mods in this setup, so I've tried to break down the video into sections as best I can. To start, there are three core mods that I use for this combat overhaul that are fairly commonplace. Firstly is our main mod called Valhalla Combat. The main feature of this mod changes how stamina works in Skyrim. Your light attacks now cost stamina to perform, however if your attack connects with its target, you will gain stamina instead. This is designed to make combat more fast paced where you can regenerate your stamina fairly quickly to perform more deadly power attacks, but will penalise you if you miss. If you do deplete all your stamina, you will enter a state of exhaustion, making you more vulnerable to your enemies. The other main feature of this mod is timed blocking, allowing you to perform a timed or perfect block to stagger your opponent and replenish your stamina. This can be a little too strong, so I do recommend in the MCM to enable stamina blocking, which makes blocking an attack cost stamina instead. You can also block projectiles, and if timed perfectly, deflect the projectile back at the sender. Again, this can be very powerful, so make sure the time block settings aren't too high in the MCM. The final feature of this mod is stun and execution where every NPC and creature has a stun meter that depletes as you attack and when fully depleted, indicated by the flashing red bar, you can perform an execution to kill them instantly. While this might seem overpowered, it's fairly rare to happen and helps with enemies that can often be damaged sponges. Altogether, this mod redesigns how combat works for a more fast paced and aggressive playstyle. The second core mod is called Precision, which contains many useful features, with the main one being the addition of accurate hitboxes, allowing for better, more accurate collisions in combat. More specifically, this fixes the reach of a lot of weapons, so you can't just wildly swing your weapon and expect to hit your target. Other features include a weapon swing effect with another mod called Precision Trail Replacer, which makes it look a little more simple and better in my opinion. It also features both hit stop and camera shake, which add impact to both your and your enemy's attacks by either slowing time or giving the camera a subtle shake. Recoil is another added feature, which adds a recoil animation when you hit a solid object. All of these features can be adjusted or completely disabled in an extensive MCM. For me personally, I have disabled weapon impacts and player recoil for a more pleasing combat experience. And the last core mod of the setup is the attack modern combat overhaul Distar Experience. This mod adds the ability to chain attacks together and create powerful combos with unique animations, as well as introducing attack commitment, meaning you can't move your character or change direction once you have committed to an attack. This is the main mod where the attack animations come from and there are many different attack movesets for you to try. It really comes down to your own personal preference. I do have another video that features many of these different movesets available, but if there is one I want to recommend, it's the twin blade animations which are just incredibly satisfying to play with. Two other mods that are soft requirements for attack MCO, but I highly recommend, are one click power attack which separates your power attack onto a separate key so you can begin and chain different combos with power attacks, creating a vastly better combat experience. And the other is the no recoil mod, which prevents the recoil animation when performing an attack. Without this mod, your combos will be getting continuously interrupted, which can become increasingly frustrating to play. Moving on from the core mods are a few extra mods to make your combat more varied and give you the player more control. First is a great mod simply called Cancel Attack, which as suggested will let you cancel your attack. The Attack Modern Combat Overhaul can have some very long recovery animations, making combat feel slow at times and leaving you in a very vulnerable state. This mod simply allows you to have a hotkey that will cancel your attack animation 
no matter what is happening. I found this allows you to react to the combat scenario and provides you with more control over the situation as well as making combat feel more fluid and fast paced. Then we have another mod called Ashes of War Weapon Art via Additional Attack, which uses the Additional Attack framework to implement a variety of special attacks to your game. The Additional Attack mod will allow you to create a hotkey to perform another attack besides your basic and power attacks that we will call a special attack. The Ashes of War mod then provides over 70 different animations or abilities for you to choose from. There is a huge variety here with simple shield bashes or more extravagant weapon throwing or spinning attacks. Whatever you choose, it adds another string to your bow in combat and allows another angle for you to approach your target. The next section is all about blocking. Now Valhalla Combat will be used as the main system to provide timed and projectile blocking features, but there are extra block related mods to add on top. First is the combination of two mods called Maxu Block Overhaul and Dynamic Block Hit, which together will rework how blocking functions in Skyrim. Essentially, when you block a normal or power attack, will have a different result. A normal attack will push you back slightly, whereas blocking a power attack will push you back a little more, and if your health or stamina is below 30% when blocking a power attack, you will be pushed back even further. This applies to both you and other NPCs, so is balanced across everyone in the game, and each weapon also has its own random block animations for some increased diversity in your combat loop. Now the Maxu block overhaul has not been officially released yet, but I have been using the pre-release version without any issues so far, which you are also welcome to use, however if you would rather wait for the proper release, that's totally up to you. For now though, these two mods feel great to play with and provide some nice impact to the Skyrim blocking system, I very much recommend trying it out for yourself. Next is a very simple mod called Wider Block Angle, which simply extends the cone of your block when in combat by 2.5 times. This is just a quality of life change that makes fighting multiple enemies at once more playable and less frustrating. And the last block mod is called Dual Wield Parrying. When dual wielding, you probably notice that you can't perform a block. This mod adds a simple hotkey for you to block when dual wielding, another simple quality of life mod to improve your combat gameplay. Moving on to Stagger, which is an important aspect for the balance and pacing of your combat, designed to punish the player or NPC for taking too many hits. For this overhaul, we will be using a combination of three stagger mods together, which include Poise a Stagger Overhaul, the updated NG version, and the Poise Breaker add-on. These three mods combined will completely overhaul the vanilla stagger system into a more modern poise system, where each character has a set poise health calculated by combining your overall level, armor weight, and weapon weight, and is indicated by the special yellow bar on your enemies. This poise health will begin depleting when you get hit, and once it reaches certain thresholds of 50, 35, 25 or 0 percent, you will experience a light or medium stagger. Now at lower levels you will become staggered more often, but as you level up and upgrade your armor, you will become stronger, and although the system isn't perfect, I found it works well and makes dodging or blocking attacks far more important in combat. It also replaces the large stagger animation, causing you to be thrown backwards when hit by a powerful enemy. Sadly, the Poise Breaker add-on only works on Skyrim SE versions 1.6.353 and below, so if you have a more updated version of Skyrim, you cannot use this mod, and I do not recommend using the original Poise mod by itself, as the balance isn't great and you or others will easily become stagger locked. Also, Valhalla Combat does have a poise patch in its MCM, but I do not recommend selecting this, as the Valhalla stagger animations are fine and more balanced overall. The other stagger mod I recommend is Third Person Camera Stagger Remover, which will just remove that annoying camera shake when in third person. A simple yet much needed mod. Next is all about movement, another important aspect of combat. 
First and foremost is the True Directional Movement mod, which will give your character full 360 degree movement, similar to other modern games, and is really a must have mod. It also includes other handy features like a lock on function, where you can lock onto your target during combat, great for both ranged and melee combat alike. This mod also includes an extensive MCM, where you can adjust different settings to your liking. Another movement mechanic is implementing a dodge mod. Now for this overhaul, we will be using the dynamic dodge animation mod, which is compatible with the three main dodge mods, TK Dodge RE, the ultimate dodge mod, and DMCO, so it's totally your choice which one you want to use. For reference, I am using TK Dodge RE in this video. With this animation mod installed, you can perform both a simple dodge and a separate animation to cancel your attack and dodge out of the way. Dodging is a great mechanic and allows you to extend or close the distance between you and your target or simply dodge out of the way of an incoming attack. Overall, I really enjoy playing with a dodge mechanic, but if you would rather not, it's totally not required for this setup. And the last movement mod is called Smooth Moveset, which will remake Skyrim's overall moveset without changing any attack animations, so it's nicely compatible with other mods. Essentially, this mod will improve the equip and unequip animations, as well as the transition from combat to non-combat idols. Overall, it's just a great mod that provides seamless transition between different combat states and cleans up any rough edges. Moving on, your camera is another important aspect of your combat gameplay, and for this overhaul is none other than the mod called Smooth Cam, which will allow you to edit your camera in every aspect of your game. There are also a ton of different Smooth Cam presets that you can download and try out for yourself. So if you like the camera angle used in this video, I have uploaded my own preset that you can use for yourself, but otherwise it's just a fantastic camera editing mod. Now let's take a look at a couple of NPC mods. The first is called Scar or Skyrim Combos AI Revolution. This mod provides the NPCs of Skyrim to utilize the movesets introduced by the attack combat overhaul more effectively. NPCs can now check for range and angle amongst other parameters before performing an attack and chain certain combos together, a great mod that enhances your combat experience. And the other NPC mod is called Ashes of War for NPCs. If you remember earlier, the Ashes of War mod that lets you perform special attacks, well the same author has also made this mod that lets NPCs perform some of those special attacks as well. Again adding some nice variety and surprising moments to Skyrim combat. A great little mod that's just a bit of fun. And lastly, I want to finish off with some cool effect mods to tie off your combat package. First is the mod called Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X, which adds particle effects to your weapon swings when you land an attack. The effect changes depending on what actor you are targeting. For example, human enemies will spew blood Draga will produce a cloud of dust, and metal enemies will produce sparks, altogether making combat feel a lot more visceral, as if your attacks are really impacting the enemy. I also recommend picking up the Enhanced Blood Textures mod for some higher quality blood decals. To take your slash effects even further, you can also use the mod called Separated Slash Effects X, which adds an even more intense slash effect to your attacks. Now these are not very lore friendly, but if you enjoy having some exaggerated effects in your combat, then this is the mod for you. It also comes with a foam wood installer with slightly different variations and colours for the slash effect depending on your own preference. It's also important to note that these are visual only and do not affect your gameplay in any way. Just another fun mod to increase the intensity of your combat encounter. And lastly, for some sounds, I recommend the Eviscerate Weapon Sounds Redesigned mod, which will overhaul all the weapon sounds in one complete package. These sounds are much more realistic and create an intense atmosphere during combat, a great little mod to finish off your complete combat overhaul. Before we finish, I do want to mention that similar to my previous overhaul video, there will be a link to my full mod list, and one of the tabs will be called Combat Overhaul. 
and there will be my personal load order for all of these mods mentioned in this video, including all of the requirements needed, as there are quite a few. I've also included some tips and comments for certain mods to help people out who may be struggling or unsure about the load order and certain requirements. One aspect I do want to highlight is the Project Rain Nemesis engine, which is an important requirement for a lot of these mods to function and must be run after installing these mods. I do have a separate video explaining how that works if you are unsure and have never used this mod before. Of course, you are also welcome to ask me any questions in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you again next time. Cheers!